Hi guys, this is Lee with the Market Sense for the week of January 28th, 2020. Charts in this presentation are provided to us by the Trade Navigator software from Genesis Financial. And this is a weekly bond market chart. Uh, we were looking for somewhat of a breakout and we kind of sort of got that. They broke out to the upside last week went up above resistance already this week but have come back down sort of staying within this much larger sideways pattern that has existed for several months now uh, this week is you know a lot of it is a flight to quality because of fears about a virus which i mean think about that that doesn't make a lot of sense does it the virus spooking the market so you know, I the the support to continue the trend up is all the way down at the 159.24 area, and clearly they're well above that. If they were to get down there after being as high as they've been, I'm not sure I'd be interested in buying there. That doesn't look like a real good opportunity to me. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see if they can hold, or at the very least, stay above uh, 158, 11, 12, right in this green area here. Um, you know, they may not be weak enough to get down to anything, but that's those are the areas to monitor. Uh, this resistance, by the way, was uh, roughly 161.28, and it's not out of the question for them to go back and close above it, even though they've dripped down below it now. If they do that, then we've got two strong weeks up, and we could be at least going to completely test the all-time highs, which, well, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? It would interest me. Uh, in stocks, uh, the same thing, only the opposite. We had this fear because of the coronavirus that drove the market down. And I'm just not a fan of market moves that happen for obvious reasons. And when that obvious reason isn't even market related, I like it even less. So the the support down here at the, the lower moving average, which is not what we were looking for at the beginning of the week, by the way, but the support down here is roughly the 3240 area, and they've gone a little bit through that. I think 33 is the low for the week so far. But they seem to be coming back up nicely to that. Now, the 3284 area is actually what we thought was going to be support for the week. But since they gapped below it, there is a chance that it could act as a resistance. That's kind of how things work. The reflective nature, support becomes resistance and vice versa. Um, I don't really expect that. I mean, I, I, I kind of think the resistance at the 3320 area, which is what we thought was there at the beginning of the week, is still probably the resistance for the week. But we have to honor the possibility that this 3284 area could act as resistance. And if it does, then that would be the first indication that perhaps there is some sort of change in momentum here. Obviously our momentum indicator has dipped negative. So that could be the indication that things were are turning down. But at this point, I know I sound like a broken record, but at this point there is still really no damage to the downside yet. At this point they still look like they're in an uptrend and I think you have to trade them accordingly. So that's what we've got for you today. I hope you can find something